Not sure where she got it. Probably the Goodwill bins, probably a dollar and sold it for $269.95 plus shipping. Hey, Bola Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right. In this video, we are going to talk about big money bolos. Items to be on the lookout for. Items you can buy low and sell for a profit. And I will tell you that the gal that I'm featuring, her and her husband source pretty cheap, kind of like I do. So can anybody guess who it is? Hey, Bola Buddies. Thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. All right, let's get started here with the first Bolo. I am going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. But before we do that, let me tell you who we're going to be talking about. We are talking about the Rebel reseller. So Rebel and her husband, Robert, they are a team of resellers who put out YouTube content that is incredible. So I will link their YouTube and their eBay store down below. Definitely go and check them out. When I say they are full-time resellers, they have sold 61,000 items. That is major. So be sure to click on the heart and follow their store. And they specialize in plush, but do sell other items. So in this video, you are going to learn about a lot of bolos that maybe you would have definitely walked past. The first item is this vintage Christmas gift wrap. And they got this in a box of Christmas stuff. So maybe a buck and it sold for a best offer of $40 plus shipping. Look at that. Would you have picked it up or walked right past it? $40, 40 smackaroos. And it's not even Christmas time. How about this pig? It is a Commonwealth pig. And it has on a bomber jacket from 1995, this pig is. Super cute. They picked it up at the Goodwill bins, probably paid $2 and sold it for $47.45 plus shipping. And if you want to see the tush tag, I'm guessing they probably have a photo. There you go. There's your tush tag. 1989. I love it when they're dated. It makes things so much easier. This one here caught me off guard because it's just a teddy bear. And how many times do you see this and you're like, it's just a teddy bear. It's going to take forever to sell. Well, it might, but this sold for a nice profit. It is a brand I've never heard of. Decor pot belly plush pig. It's six, not pig. The last one was a pig. It's a bear, a plush bear, 16 inch. Picked up at an estate sale, probably $2 and sold it for a best offer of 40 plus the buyer paid shipping. Here's a Mattel Aladdin doll with a magic carpet. And she sold this for, uh, let's see, the buyer offered 33 knowing it was not working. Picked up at a kid's consignment sale, I believe. Didn't realize the carpet was supposed to make sounds. So still sold for 33, even though it did not work. Look at these. I have never seen these. These are so cute. And I say these because they didn't sell one, but they sold two. T Bunnies, Rabbit Plush, Purple Hugs, Flower, Kids View, 16 inch. Here's the other one. How cute are these? She said, picked up at the Goodwill, paid $4.99 each, and they sold for $49.95 each. Little Einstein's Pat Pat Rocket Figure, Vehicle, Lights and Sounds. And I know that Rebel did a video on toys such as these that go for big money. So check out her channel for that category video. This one here, she picked up at the bottom of a yard sale and the top at, oh, the bottom, she got at a yard sale and she found the top at the bins. So she, she put it together. She found both pieces. Wow. That's amazing. Uh, might have $3 into it, sold it for $55.75. This is a Sesame Street Cookie Monster hand puppet plush Jim Henson stuffed animal. Picked it up at the bottom Picked up, oh wait, I'm sorry, I was reading the same thing again. Picked up at an estate sale for $3 and sold it for $71.95. Look at his little eyes. He is cuteness right there. This is a Fisher Price Slumber Babies plush 10 inch stuffed animal toy. She got this at a church sale for a dollar and sold it for $73.55. Look at it. Just look at it. It's so cute. 
This is a Walmart yellow duck. So one thing I have learned from the Rebel reseller is to pick up Walmart, CVS, anything vintage, Walgreens, exclusive toys, because some of them can sell for big money. This one, she probably picked up at the bin, so probably around $2 and sold it for a best offer of 60 plus shipping. This little Carter's terry cloth lamb, oh my goodness. If you see terry cloth items, even if they are not perfect like this one, pick them up. Terry cloth does super well. This is Carter's. She got this, uh, she thinks at a thrift store for about two bucks and sold it for $80.86 plus shipping. This is a Terra Humarara. <laughs> I probably said that wrong. Goat skin bound pottery vessel pot water jug. And she picked it up at a yard sale for two bucks and took a best offer of $50. This one, I love it. It's a planky Humpty Dumpty egg pillow plush, 19 inch stuffed animal toy. She got this at an estate sale for $2 and sold it for a best offer of 68 plus shipping. And you can see here, she's got really great pictures just showing how big it is, the condition, any defects. And yeah, nice profit on that. This is a bunnies by the bay monkey plush, 20 inches stuffed toy. Picked up at the bins for $2 approximately and sold it for a best offer of $60. Bunnies by the Bay. Most bunnies by the Bay, in my experience, are bread and butter, but she did really well with this one. There is your little tag to look for. So if you see this tag, look it up. James Axler Graphic Audio CD, lot of 18. Picked up at a church sale for about $12 and sold for $74.46 best offer. This is a Commonwealth brown dog plush 27 inches from 1993 huge stuffed animal toy picked up at the goodwill bins it was large so maybe four dollars sold it for 74.35 plus shipping hi my name is rebel and i'm the rebel reseller and i wanted to share a bolo with you guys this doll i picked up at a recent estate sale she was ten dollars she is an ideal tiffany taylor doll I knew the doll itself was probably only worth about 20, but the treasure here was also included with her. She came with several outfits. And when I looked up comps for outfits, they seemed to be about 20 bucks each. Some of these did have some issues. I wasn't going to clean them. I'm leaving all of that to the buyer. Um, but I listed it yesterday and within two hours, I had two offers. I went ahead and waited the day out to see if anybody would do an outright buy it now, but they didn't. So this morning, I accepted an offer of $120 for her. This is an Antica, ooh, Uren Bastats. Uren Bastats. Sounds good to me. Clock kit sealed. And picked it up at an estate sale for probably $5 and took a best offer of $75. Dingo Western Rattler Men's Boots. Rattler? Does that mean like rattlesnake? I don't know. Uh, maybe $8 at an estate sale and sold for $79.95 plus shipping. The next item is this Tonka Keepers Pink Snail Plush Purse from 1985. Jewel Stuffed Animal Toy. This one is awesome. Bought at a flea market in Rochester, New York for five bucks and sold it for 70 on best offer and the buyer paid shipping. Look at this. It's a one-eyed doll. Uh, Mattel Monster High Iris Klops doll extra outfit. Got it at part of a $65 tote. I remember when she talked about this. She sent me a picture and she's like, what do I do? And I'm like, you look them up. Uh, Google Lens is your friend. She uh, parted it out. It was part of a $65 tote she purchased and she sold this one for $77.95 best offer. Did I skip one? Huh. Okay. Walmart multicolored bear plush primary colors, terry cloth, 17 inch stuffed animal. Probably picked up at the bend, so maybe $2 and took a best offer of $80 plus shipping. A Tyco Kitty Kitty Kitten Plush Jungle Cat Snow Leopard Plush. If you find one of these, 
definitely look it up. They do vary in how much they go for. Some can go for hundreds, depending on how rare they are and condition, but do your research. This one she picked up at the Goodwill bin, so maybe a dollar and sold it for $92.95 plus shipping. Little Tykes Wee Waffle Blocks, primary colors, lot of 125. Picked up at a consignment sale and added more from the Goodwill bin, so have about $10 in it. Sold for a best offer of $75 plus shipping. These Men's Ariat Black Le Legend Phoenix Western Cowboy Boots. Picked up at an estate sale for $5 and sold for $76 on best offer, buyer paid shipping. This little troll is George Dahl, 10-inch Christmas elf from 1982, Denmark. Also part of a huge estate sale pickup with number one bear. Paid $2, sold for $99.95 plus shipping. This one here is a Afma Aaron Lycan Thick hoodie jacket, size large. I would have walked right past this. Here is the tag. And they are starting to do some clothing. So you can look for more of that on their channel as well. Picked up at the Goodwill bins, I think. So maybe about $2. We had no idea it was something special. Sold it for $91.71. Best offer plus shipping. Applause Bean Rabbit Plush Bunny Hand Puppet. Jim Henson again. Stuffed animal. Look up anything that's Jim Henson. Usually going to do pretty well with that, especially if it's a puppet. And let's see, picked up at the Goodwill bin. So maybe a dollar and sold it for 90 on best offer plus shipping. Gans Webkin signature talked about this in another video. The signature series can go for more. So if you see one that says signature, see how the Paul has the print on it. It looks different than the other, but it will also say signature on the tag. That is something you want to look for. Picked up at a church sale for a dollar and sold it for $125 plus shipping. This Blackaby style Bible, black bonded leather, uh, purchased at an estate sale for two bucks and sold it for $185.89 plus shipping. Best offer on that one. Look at this. Sanrio Zashikia Buta, pink pig plush, seven inches, you guys, seven inches. This not sure where she got it. Probably the Goodwill bins, probably a dollar and sold it for $269.95 plus shipping. Would you have ever guessed? There's the tag. And I don't even see a tush tag. Oh, there's the tush tag right there. Anything Sanrio, look it up. That is awesome. Hi, my name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel reseller. And this is my bolo. I went to an estate sale last month where I purchased a huge lot of vintage plush, most of them still with their original tags, some in their original box. This is a heart-to-heart -heart bear by Cho Sun. There's several in this series. They have a little heart in their side that when you press it, it makes a heartbeat sound. I paid about $2 for this item and it sold today for $269.95. Shipping. So when I tell you that they specialize in plush, they most definitely do. If you go to their store and look at their items for sale, their sold items, you're going to see that they sell tons and tons of plush. Their store is jam-packed. I don't know how many listings they have now, maybe 10,000. They are machines, listing machines. And I talked Rebel into getting on whatnot. I'm like, you've got to do it. You just got to do it. Um, she was talking about slow sales and I'm like, I get it. I understand. So sometimes you have to go on to other platforms and whatnot is fantastic. They have a marketplace, but you can also do auction style. So if you're not on whatnot, I do have a referral link down below. If you join with that, you're going to get $15 to shop. If you want to sell on whatnot, there's another link for that down below, and that will tell them that Bolo Buddies referred you and you may get accepted quicker. So check out those links. Come see me. I'm selling on whatnot. I absolutely love it. I'm having a ball. I get to hang out with you guys live. Even if you don't buy anything, just come hang out with us. So um, click on that link, join whatnot, go follow the Rebel Reseller. She already has an account set up. 
And I think she's going to have a live show coming soon. So thank you guys so much for being here. Please go over to uh, the Rebel Reseller, watch some of her videos, subscribe to her channel, tell her Bolo Buddy sent you in the comments. And if you haven't subscribed to me, be sure to do that. I would love to see you guys hanging out, watching more videos. There's going to be some videos popping up here and here, a subscribe and a video down below. And as always, thanks for being here and thanks for watching.